Okay, so we are now in letter C, which is the patronage refund allocation. Now, uh, number one, the minimum allocation. So what is the minimum allocation for uh, the patronage refund again? It is not less than 30% of the net surplus after deducting statutory funds. So because patronage refund is the fundamental principle for the cooperatives, it ensures that members receive share of the cooperative surplus uh, based on their individual patronage and uh, purchases and participation to the cooperative. So the minimum allocation of patronage refund is set by the regulatory guidelines. According to the Cooperative Development Authority in the Philippines, the amount allocated for patronage refund must not be less than 30% of the surplus after deducting statutory reserves. So this means that at least 30% of the cooperative's net surplus should be returned to members through patronage refund. Now the equity principle and fairness, the, e, the equity principle ensures that all uh, members benefit proportionate, proportionally by allocating the minimum of 30% of patronage refund to patronage refund cooperatives uh, will uphold the fairness and recognize members' contribution. And as far as the maximum rate, the rate of patronage refund should not exceed twice the rate of interest on share capital. It ensures that the return to members remain reasonable and sustainable. In summary, the minimum allocation of patronage refund reflects the cooperative's commitment to equitable sharing of surplus among its members. Number two, what is the maximum rate for the patronage refund? So it must not exceed twice the interest rate on share capital. So the other one is the minimum. The minimum that it should not be less than 30%. But the maximum, it's the interest rate should not be more than twice the interest on share capital rate. So that's the most important uh, thing con to consider here. The maximum rate of patronage refund refers to the upper limit on the interest rate applied to the patronage refund. Now, according to the cooperative guidelines, the patronage refund rate should not uh, exceed twice the interest rate on share capital. In other words, the interest uh, paid to members through patronage refund should not be uh, excessively high compared to interest they receive on their share capital. For equity and sustainability, uh, it ensures that all members uh, benefit proportionally. By capping the patronage refund rate, the cooperative strikes a balance between providing fair returns to members and uh, maintaining financial sustainability. So excessive patronage refund rate could uh, strain the cooperative's finances and affects its uh, long-term viability. So... For the legal compliance of this, the cooperative must adhere to this maximum rate as specified by regulatory bodies. The Cooperative Development Authority provides uh, guidelines to ensure uh, consistency and uh, protect members' interests. In summary, the maximum rate for patronage refund allocation ensures that members receive reasonable returns while safeguarding the cooperative's financial health, the guidelines in the allocation or, and distribution of patronage refund. So for the proportionate distribution to individual patrons, uh, when allocating this patronage uh, refund to the cooperative uh, members, yeah, it should be uh, proportionate uh, distribution to the individual pat patronage as, as well as it should be uh, equitably shared so equitable sharing and individual patronage so yung proportionate distribution natin ng uh, patronage refund is based on sa sa individual cap individual uh, participation natin sa kooperatiba for example yung isa is uh, nagbayad ng interest na yung total ng interest ng binayad niya is 20,000 will not be the same as the member na nagbayad ng 50,000 
but uh, they will be receiving uh, equitably according to uh, its uh, proportion dun sa participation nila sa pagpatronize ng mga produkto ng kooperatiba. Okay, but uh, I will explain that also later para makita nyo kung paano kinukumpute niya ang gandalawang yan. Kung, mag, kung magkaiba yung mga binabayad nila. In the calculation, the cooperative calculates uh, members' patronage refund based on their purchases. Ito na, no? yung transaction and other cooperative activities. The more a member participates, the larger their proportionate share of patronage refund. Mm. Kasi yung nai-participate mo, depende lang sa uh, kung palagi kang nag-patronize, malaki yung uh, na binibili mo from the products ng kooperatiba, edi mas malaki din yung patronage refund mo. Kasi palagi kang nag-patronize ng produkto ng kooperatiba. So, in summary, the proportionate distribution uh, ensures no, that member receive fair and uh, equitable share in of the cooperative surplus uh, based on the individual contribution. So that's it for chapter 3 and uh, I hope you learned something uh, and uh, see you in uh, chapter 4. Thank you very much.